Yeah, that's... All right, guys, so we're on a field trip over at uh, Kendrick's house. Kenny to me, Kendrick to everybody else. Yeah, like, I can't call him Kendrick either. This is the drag bus. Now, one thing funny about Kenny's garage here is, is that me and Andrea lived with Kenny for a while in his first house and it had no air conditioning, but... He's, so when he moved in, he saw what it did with the window He's unit. got an AC in his garage. I mean, <laughs> we might have spoiled him with that window unit. <laughs> But anyway, this is the drag bus that he's been working on. Really trick piece. Automatic back there. It's going with the Potter motor in this. And uh, he's fabricated all this stuff himself. All of it. Looks like the ladder bars might be store bought. But other than that, the uh, the whole setup. This is sort of unique. Uh, show him the steering wheel there, Kenny. This is where you sit. There's a steering wheel there. And uh, there's the pedals up here. Well, there you just got to do a little narrowing on the beam, but uh, with the disc brakes there, an aluminum uh, beam, all the uh, tie rods are all made. The Super Beetle uh, steering box there with a custom bracket, and uh, look at this, got a trick uh, fourth gear. Ooh, let me get that to focus. It's a Volkswagen fourth gear up in there, and uh, he made a planetary unit out of it, and you can change the ratio from slow to quick by repositioning the gears, sort of like a quick change rear end. Really cool. And, uh, a lot of body work on this. He channeled it. How many inches did you take out of the body? Four inches? Four, Four inches out of that body. And uh, still got a little bit of body work to do and stuff. Uh, he's gonna make some of these panels come off. Uh, apparently the tire rides all the way up to here. Yeah. So the tire will be up in this section here. It's on a jig right now, so you can't really see the ride height. Front gives you an idea. Yeah, there we go, that's the front. It's a little tight in there right now until he narrows it. But uh, you got wheels like that for the back or you're running the carbon fiber deals? I uh, run whatever I can. You're like me. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> carbon fiber's what I got right now. Uh, so, here's the blower over here for it. It's gonna be blown. So Kenny's the... The fabricator, he built a lot of the knickknacks on my car. I showed you guys that stuff, and he built the blower setup that Knowles got at his house that they uh, got to put back on the car. There's a little lathe there, a little lathe action, a little mill. Enco, I tried to look that up, and I uh, got a bunch of eBay coupon sites. I can show it to you if you want. <clears throat> I'll have to get Andrea to try to ride it. Enco. I don't know. I wrote it down. I found another magazine. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's easy. Here's some uh, fabricating tools that he's got here. I'm sure there's a TIG welder somewhere. Yep, right there. Kenny's the master fabricator of the shop. There's the uh, brake. Here's the old car that he built. That uh, Mike crashed. Nitro Mike. There's pieces of this hanging at scooter shop too. It got uh, sort of hurt. So this will be the replacement uh, ride. We've been trying to get Kenny to get motivated on this and finish it up so he can get out to the track. It's a pretty cool piece. So yeah, you guys comment and uh, leave him a message. Get him motivated to get this thing done. Guess he's got to narrow the front end and uh, that's sort of the roadblock. He ran into that issue with the tire clearance. These are the... Uh, Parachute mount, the fuel shut off, and uh, what was the other one? Fuel shut off, parachute mount, power. And power. So they can shut it off when you get in the car. And you go to the car, you go, son of a bitch, I'm strapped in and it ain't turned on. Oh, okay, the switch. Yeah, that happened to me in South Carolina. <laughs> so I'm sure Kenny's made all this stuff pedal, all the brackets. Very cool. This is the CO2 ram to open the door. Mm hmm. Always the trick stuff. Be able to reach it in the seat no and this is the seat here you'll be looking out the side window here for you bus guys let's <laughs> see i just can't wait to see you drive this thing with your knees up in the window that's just gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be some cool pictures for sure i'll have pictures of your feet make sure to wear really big shoes when you race it you like some size 15s to race car oh here's a picture of heart attack gear over here so. there you go got a glare there we go 
I only got to drive that car one time and uh, Kenny miscalculated the boost setup and it blew up. He's like, oh, your motor must have more compression. Yeah, I threw him out. Here's one of the go-karts. Kenny's the one that got us uh, sick on the go-kart thing. Andrea actually bought one of his old carts and we raced that thing for years. There's a bunch of go-kart trophies up there. Very cool. Very cool stuff here for sure. Cool clock there, A&W. What do we got here? We got a brake or a shear. Shear. I'm sure there's stuff that I can't see here. There's some more tools over here. Sanders, grinders. All right. Here, this is for Tom. Here's the electric motorcycle, Tom. Here's his power box or whatever to hold his. How many batteries are you putting on this? 18. 18 batteries. My electric car buddy said that you need 30 of them. But uh, Kenny can do stuff that the normal person just can't do. I don't know so, how far it'll go. There's the batteries. So, you check out EBTV yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta check that out. It's pretty cool videos there. This looks like Kenny got this from his dad's bench. I remember your dad's workshop looking like that when we were kids. Mm -hmm. so. In fact, I got that from him. <laughs> Is that the, that's the Burnett machine right there, isn't it? That's the car that Kenny used to tune. It's in Australia now. So, Ziggy, if you go to the track and see that, get us some video and send it to me. You know they painted it or anything, Kenny? Or it just changed the name on it to... Uh, Buzzy. Buzzy. Where it says Burnett, it says Buzzy. So Burnett. it says Buzzy's on it there. So check that out, Ziggy. If you see that, let us know. Dave wants it back already. I was talking to him. He <laughs> can't believe he sold it. He never thought he would sell it, but it sold. Yeah. Is this the motor here? Potter? Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I'm using for mock up. That's the Potter motor. I was comparing it to the. Uh, this is actually a bug pack. Oh, that's a bug pack? I was comparing it to the Potter motor because of the. <laughs> The difference in the oil pump mount. Oh, yeah, it's very angle. similar, huh? But notice how much they're leaving the distributor. So if I make a blower mount that fits the top of this, it won't fit the top of the Potter motor. What kind of distributor are you using, Kenny? I've got a magneto for it, but I may end up with a. Uh, I may end up with an MSD on it. She's giving me a hard time because all these guys online say 09 suck, and they got to run a vacuum advance to make their car run. Oh, no, that's fine. I ran it <laughs> That's all I've ever used. I but I, I didn't. I didn't want to make the blower up to fit the uh, the three piece what? ARPM case because when I blow this up, which will happen <laughs> when I blow it up, which will happen fairly quickly, I'll end up with a powder motor in there and whatever I make for this. So can you make this case this fit here? No. No. So I'm gonna make everything fit the powder case and just come buy a powder. Oh, uh, there you go. Here's the electric motor for the bike. Yeah. What type of motor is that? Like a golf cart it's motor? A, yeah. Yeah. It's a three. Club car three Porsche motor. Separately go. excited, which all the electric motor guys know is a bad idea. Yeah. Well, I know I, where there's a nice golf cart. I know is they're cheap. <laughs> they're cheap. So there you go, Tom. I mean, it's all about the experimental. You just got to do it sometimes. Not doing it's worse than you know worrying about whether it's going to work or not. That's pretty cool. You made all this bearing support and all that. Yeah, it's a female spline, so I actually had to take this shaft and cut a spline on the end of it, which I had to learn how to do, which I'd never done before. Uh, I could have paid somebody a thousand dollars to do it for me. Thousand dollars. Yeah, but I'm smarter than that, so I spent twelve hundred dollars to buy the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Bought this. It's called a divider head, and it's where you turn it a little bit, and you can turn a very precise amount. And I cut the spline up on the middle using this guy. Yeah, there's a whole. Uh, not a lot of the the machinist guys are in the YouTube garage, but there's a whole bunch of guys on YouTube that buy these old machines and restore them and stuff. Mm -hmm. They'll be appreciating that. That looks like a cool piece. Bought that on eBay. Very cool. Heck of a deal. We got some mill bits here. These. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. He says. The milling toolbox. There you go. Sweet. That's all the stuff that I don't have. <laughs> I have none of that. Measuring joint. I have that. Yeah. I do have an angle finder. Yeah, I've got four or five of those. I'm on my way. <laughs> what are we building up here? Uh, this is a jig for cutting out the uh, bus bars for the batteries. This holds the end of it so I can drill in the center. Sweet. This big ass piece is a, a jig, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'll use it for something else later, but oh. right now it's a jig. <laughs> so there we go. His mill works. 
Pretty nice. Pretty cool. The stick shift that I originally set the bus up on. Oh, this is the bus training here? So I originally built it around the stick and I changed my mind to the automatic, but I've got the motor plate and everything for that. Just in case. Just in case. I switched the automatic out. All the good scrap. That's the trampoline where my car gets built from. <laughs> That's where mine gets built from. <laughs> <laughs> inventory. inventory, there you go. So we made a little trip there through Kenny's. You guys uh, rate, subscribe, comment. Oh, TV and Bender could use that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Scales. Sweet scales. Yeah. Gotta have those if you want your car to get straight. No. No. <laughs> Kenny said that he asked you to come over. He said he offered to set it up for you, but you know, you always tell me that he's never interested. But uh, hmm. Seems like he just didn't show up. What is this thing? This is a uh, dyno for Briggs motor. That's what's left of one. There you go, HO Motorsports. Antique dyno. Who gave you that? Uh, uh, Bobby Hopping. Oh. Thought you would have got that from, uh, what man, Bates. Master Bates. Yeah, you have a nice dyno. Yeah, nice. So what's this? This is like an antique dyno? Yeah, this is an ancient one. This is a make sure the motor runs dyno. It's a water brake. So you put it on there, you ever use it? Uh -huh. And it works? Yeah. Measures horsepower pretty accurately? No. No? no is it, it happy? Yeah, it just yeah, does it run? You know, will, will this cam break in that kind of thing? Oh yeah, there's no you number. Make nine horsepower one time, make six the next time, same motor. Look at the air, man. <laughs> it's Kenny's paint guns out there. Uh, I think I'll be painting some stuff for him. We're gonna paint his frame, and then maybe we'll do the uh, tank and stuff after that. Some synergy green. I need some synergy green paint, lady. Okay. About a quart of it. Next time you're in there mixing it up. I'll jump right on that. My favorite thing to do. Mixed paint. Mm, love it. There you go. Well, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Enjoy the AC. Hope you guys enjoyed the little tour there of the trickery. <laughs> so, Weirdness. I hope Kenny gets this running here soon. I love racing him. He's my favorite person to race. But I haven't got to uh, have my uh, rival at the track in a long time. So hopefully he'll finish this up and get it done. And uh, it's going to be cool to see him back in the seat, even if he is sitting up in the air. So I'll give you a shot of that. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This is where it happens. The house of speed. All right, guys.